basically. What the fuck is this? What do you even do in this? And you name the beaver post 11 and post videos of it on your YouTube so that the beavers finally have the final double of the post 10. <laughs> post 11? <laughs> Developed a game similar to Impossible Bosses. I think you would really like it. Can I link to the trailer? Yeah, go for it. Okay. Hey, bottom left hand corner, pay attention. Not actual gameplay footage. Interesting. Uh, and then Volp sent something else. Call of Duty Vanguard, what? Yo, this looks like your kind of game, Timberborn. What? Are, how? Why are there so many cards? I don't understand. Like, the whole world is burning. Sometimes, the only way to put out the flames. I feel like there's a new cod like every fire. year.
betrayed you all for this. This is the theater of war, Arthur. There's no curtain call for bravery. Bravery is what comes after, not what you were in the moment. Ouchie, ouchie. Fucking jackass. Good hey, morning. Man, I'm sorry I was asleep, but I'm awake now and I'm getting on. Yeah, you're going live? When do we start Warcraft 3? How, how many how, do you have to talk about furries for like an hour? I was just doing like 20 minutes. I'll be there. Better hurry the fuck up, man. Alright, love you. Alright, hearts and kisses, fucking idiot. Get up. Where's that one trailer that this guy was now and get early access to the open beta digital pre-orders get instant access to them. I don't care. Nabe Srix, you fucking you told me about your game yesterday and I said it was a bad time. You tell me you got your your game today and you're like, hey, can I link it? Like, bro. Oh, you linked it in chat. All right, cool. Got it. I want to see. Yeah, I want to see him. I want to see him. Oh, no, I have no link. Fucking pterodactyl too. All right, bottom up for you. Is he about to roll? Oh, coming in? Oh, watch out, watch out, watch out. Wait, did you blow the boss? No, 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 not blow the boss, I'm gonna die! No! Oh, no. Wipe it up, let's go again. Four player rating, wait, I love that. up let's get the kill this attempt focus uh, up guys can you bird. equip flaming I arrow you have to save it for the bird uh, we can just crying yeah. all right let's go let's do it i'm going to big dot roll here possibly dead oh, i can't i can't heal him i'm healing i'm in a puddle no i'm out i'm out i'm out he's really dead come on come on come on come on come on nice Wait, Dota Arcade? Oh, it's literally a Dota custom game. Excellent. I was, I was actually hoping it was a standalone game, TBH. No wonder it looked kind of Dota-esque. I have never played Dota in my life. Never mind. I've played for 31 minutes. So, that's my extent of Dota. But nice, bro. Sick. All right, let me see his shit. I actually like impossible bosses. Timberborn. Beaver, survive the apocalypse. But I can't because Rob's playing Warcraft 3 soon. Is that the is that the ultimate boss on this game? The beaver? 
Wait, face the deadly droughts. Uh oh. Oh my god, they're dying. Oh my god. <laughs> the fucking. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> My people! <laughs> All right, Kerr. Wait, I need to download what SMG Ski sent me. Hang on. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Download. Mm -mm -mm. All right, I'm downloading a file real quick. gonna be a hot second it's still DLing all the maps because I'm gonna have to host it for these cookie what's on the front page of Steam I actually never check anymore Sekiro Noida nice car mechanic sim pulsar Skyrim humankind Wait, people love this game. Avenger! Didn't this game flop like really hard? And like they literally sponsored every streamer to play it. Besides me, because I'm a brand risk. Unlucky. Cross the obelisk. I like the flowers, okay. Man, not a single game is a game that I play on this front page. Beside Noida a little bit. That game, that game owns. Ooh. The community recommends this. This is a good novella. The game is short, but interesting. It has a well-developed plot. Very interesting levels. Some had to think a lot. Yeah, I'm sure the plot's great. Here's Hand of Fate. RuneScape is on Steam? The fuck? Goose Goose Duck. Is this fucking Among Us? Killed me. Someone just killed me in front of everyone. It's kind of <laughs> sus that you two <laughs> are white moon. Alright, somebody's gonna die. That's cool. We should probably, like, do this. this. Hello. Hello. Damn it. No, kills are killed me. Hey, are we hiding here? Yes. Oh, no, oh they're all there. <laughs> they're all there. <laughs> <laughs> they can't survive a minute. Yeah, split up. I was here, I was moving. It Damn. Goose Goose Duck looks amazing. All right, hold on. I need to make myself an, a special file.
But I fucked up. Get. Excellent. Now I open and I pause music. I am now in Warcraft 3. Perfect. Just the way I like it. Do 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 do. Now I wonder what game I should have him play first. Well, I gotta get the game capture to work. Give me a heck. There we go. Uh, team tower defense might be a play. Yeah, it probably should be a team game rather than a versus game. Just so they can get used to the controls. Let me see the maps that SMG Ski gave me. Alright, Rawful Gator is pussy. Okay, so we could do the team like parkour level. Pumpkin TD is a play. Dragon Nest. Place your egg at a location and defend it for 35 waves. Never played that. Pokemon Legends. Hero Siege is sick. This will be way too hard. Blacksmith TD. Commander's TD. Custom Hero Survival sick. Random Ability Tank Defense. Helm's Deep is sick. Bro. Canned bread is, like, really good, but it has a couple of modes. I, I think canned bread is better than Uther Party, and people hate that because Uther Party is like, but, but we, it's been around forever. Canned bread is just, like, more modern and has, like, better little mini games, in my opinion. Um, but it has a couple of mini games that have DMCA music. The further down you go, the bigger the maps are? Okay. How many people can fit in these? Sheep Tag, Revolution, Footman, Apocalypse? Oh my god. This fits 1, 2, 3, 4, 8, 16, 24 people in Footman. Dude, that's going to be a fucking massacre. You think Rob can get that many people together, though? Massive doubt, bro. It says on the top left. What's this there? I mean, I don't know if we're going to have that many people. Warcraft Mall reimagined? I don't know. Is that like a TD? I don't know. There's an SCP map? <laughs> what? <laughs> That'll be funny. And of course, Orc Gladiators. Where is Robert? He's not even live yet, man. 20 minutes, my actual asshole. I cannot believe this guy can lie to me once and then lie to me again right after. Bro. People are saying he always goes lives at 10. He's doing a 24 hour stream. And he said to me on Tuesday, can we please, or was it on Wednesday? Can we please play games on Thursday, Chance? I really need games for uh, my 24-hour stream. Yeah, sure, Rob. Count me in. I'll be there. <laughs> yeah, here I am, motherfucker! Like, bro. 
I have to fucking be a cat girl tomorrow. A mute. I have to be up at like one or some shit. Like. I promised Happy I'd be a fucking mute for two hours for them. At some point. They asked to do it tomorrow. I might have to fucking cancel it if, if uh, and do it next week. Which means Red Dead Redemption. Delayed. Again. Because next Friday, gotta be a mute again. Listen. Oh, wait, actually, I need to swap out. I'm charging my full body trackers one at a time. Like, I gotta get full body set up in everything, man. And then I gotta find a cute little fucking sexy avatar. And I gotta be a fucking mute, man. Gotta set this crap up. <sighs> Battle kink. Jesus Christ, guy. Eh? Look up fights in tight spaces on Steam. I I I've seen it, man. It's a cool ass game, motherfucker. I would play it, uh, but I'm doing Warcraft three. Hey, is that Kevin Bra uh, Kevin Spacey? No, Tom Brady. It rhymes. Got him confused. Right. Tom Spacey? That's not his name, is it? I I I don't know things, bro. Tom Clancy, Rainbow Six. I guess I'll fucking wait. This is the newest version of the JSDF, or Japanese Self-Defense Force, Combat Ration Type 1. It weighs 1 pound 7 ounces, or 658 grams. Grab a Coke. It has a 3 year shelf life. This one was produced March 2017 and expires March 2020. It says right on the top, not for resale, or resale is banned. And this menu is Stamina Bowl, that's what it's called. And your flameless ration heater is issued separately. I want to thank Staff Sergeant Thorne for sending this in. He actually sent three different JSDF Type 1s, so we're going to check all three of them out. Everything is all set inside of this tray. Feels like some kind of recycled paper or cardboard. Okay, so right off the bat, here's a curried rice pilaf and then a, a white rice look at that nice heavy duty spork no napkin or toilet paper and then the main course essentially yeah I'm telling you right now I don't think I'm being a cat girl tomorrow I think it's the next week I'm not kidding which we'll find out what that is depending on how it's long we play Warcraft 3 for straightforward it probably only has like a thousand calories at the most if we play a really long time like i'm just i'm staying up i don't get to do so this shit i don't get to play warcraft like, 3 often that thing is huge with like large Feels crews about three times heavier than a usmre heating on so, so i'm probably gonna stay up late here at the 
the bottom. And then this thing has a, a fill line. Yep. There you go. Look at that. You fill it up to 200 cc. I'd like to get the white race and the curried pilaf, you know, race pilaf. Put those at the bottom. Make sure they cook all the way. Because these things, you know, if you just ate them cold, the rice is going to be crunchy. It's not really cooked right, you know, all the way through. This heating element should cook it. And you put this on top. Okay, so we'll just kind of work that around a little bit. Tie it up. I'll bet that'll start working fast. <clears throat> yep, sure is. Oh, shit. It's not quite like the old kind. It's a little bit different. Not nearly as much steam. Science, motherfucker. We'll see how much it'll heat up. It said about 15, 20 minutes. So that's what we're going to do. All right, it's this FRH. It's been going on for just over 20 minutes, and it's still doing its thing. So I think it's ready. Let's check it out. Even the top pouch feels 100% piping hot. It's ready. That's looking pretty good. All right. All right. So let's get this out on your tray. Nice. Okay. So let's first start <laughs> off with that curried rice pilaf. That's almost too hot to touch. <laughs> FRH really works. Nice. Wow. Look at that. I think I see a piece of pork or some kind of meat. All right. So let's get Shrimp? this onto the tray. In the tray. Onto the tray, in the tray, with the tray, on the a tray. Is that a pancake? And then for the white rice. Whoa. That really cooked inside that pouch. Because before, felt kind of crunchy like it wasn't fully cooked that's definitely cooked rice all right so let's check out the curried rice pilaf first pavlov just a very mild Yellow curry with onion, garlic, moderate amount of sodium. Check that out. There's like a piece of pork. Hmm. And just mostly picking up the curry again, but there was a little bit of a spicy flavor to that, just light. Then peas and carrots. On its own, it has great flavor. I mean, it's very mild, but you could eat that on its own. It'd be a nice side. The white rice. Wow. Bro, that looks like mashed potatoes. Look at that texture. Mash, it's actually mashed potatoes. It's like you could roll that into a ball. Just on its own, that is fantastic. Like the perfect chew. No, it's not, Steve. Okay, so let's give the stamina. I don't think his tongue works anymore. That should stop working eight videos ago. Check that out. Like actually, honestly, meat, probably no 50 rich videos ago. Broth. That smells incredible. Okay, all right. I bet that makes it taste way better, but it just looks like fucking Looking garbage. Good. 
it's so convenient, you know, it's just a straightforward ration. Set it in your tray, mix it up. Let's try it with the pilaf first. Okay, actually, some of this on its own. The stamina bowl has little cubed vegetables. I think it's, yeah, that crunch. That's like a root and then carrot, like an earthy, sweet root or something in there. And then carrots. I was thinking, could be burdock. Hmm. What the fuck is a burdock? That sounds like a... The stamina bowl is one of the most champion. delectable things I've ever tasted in a ration. No joke. It's even better with white rice. The savory, sweet, and complex stamina bowl, which has like... I think that's ground pork. Hmm. Okay, Steve, we, we fucking get it. It's just even more complex. Adding that yellow curry still has a great chew to that rice. I can't explain it any better. Just very simple way of explaining it. It has a very satisfying chew. And when you have these complex flavors to go along with it, it's just the perfect combination. It makes this, like, addictive food. This thing. Oh, man, he's going to do... Oh, it's God. Really filling. God damn it, Steve. Tell. Convenient food, just throw it all on a tray. We, did, we don't need another perspective, like Steve. Minutes. Okay. It takes 20 minutes to heat up. <laughs> this spork. Look at that. Nice. Every single bite is enjoyable. This is truly one of the best military rations currently produce. When it comes down to flavor, textures, flavors, and convenience. One of my personal favorite rations that this I've ever motherfucker, had. I'm looking forward to checking like, out the other two. Ate this um, food in multiple different spots of his house. Hamburger, and the other is pork curry. Okay, and we're back with another JSDF Type 1. We're going to check out this hamburger in some kind of sauce. So let's give it a look. Look at that. The tray is a little bit different. It's like a thinner paper. Got your heavy duty spork. And then another curried rice pilaf. Here's your hamburger bun and sauce. And that is 170 grams instead of 180 like the last one. The rice, and this is a standard white rice, they're both the same size, 200 grams. Okay, so there's everything laid out. And since we've already demonstrated the flameless ration heater, I'm going to save an FRH and just boil these in the pouch for about 15 to 20 minutes. That's not a pouch. All right, so let's get this out on your tray. Nice, in case. Let's first start off with that white rice. Oh, yeah. That stuff's ready. So then the curried rice peel off. Isn't this what he just ate? Same as the last one. No yeah. real point in trying them out on their own, but I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> Especially this. Oh, man, what a menace. It's just such a nice, fresh, and subtle. Bro, you just ate curry this, flavor. man. There we go. Let's get the hamburger on there. Whoa. They weren't kidding. That's a hamburger. With a strong smell of onion and like tomato sauce. And it smells very sweet. What the fuck? 
Bro, a thing is like 10 pounds. That looks pretty good. It's like really soft. Hmm. The rough translation of boiled hamburger, I don't think it's too far off because that's mushy. Wow. A much more cafeteria style flavor than the last meal. It's like a comfort food. This boiled hamburger, it's softer than even the softest meatloaf I've ever had. Look at it. It's almost like a pate. You see that? It, it could almost spread. It's that soft. It reminds me the flavor of a really good meatball or meatloaf with a, again, cafeteria style flavor. Not super high quality comfort food, but for some reason, because it is that, it makes it great in its own way. It's not that great, Just Steve. Simple, easy to eat, not overpowering spices. You could eat this for breakfast. Oh, and the spork, it's awesome. You can even skewer the rice too. Look at that. Such a durable spork. I always make sure to save them. Wh why? My God. This one, it seems a lot more filling. And this is just a mild tomato sauce with onion. But then again, its simplicity is its strength. Last bite. Not bad. Okay, and we're back with that last menu, pork and curry sauce. Okay, so right off the bat, that's a gamoku fried rice. And then there's your pork and curry sauce. Nice little 160 gram main. The last one was 170, one before that was 180. And here's your standard white rice. Paperboard tray. And spork. Make sure you collect that right, spork let's too. Let's heat this up real quick. You never know, Steve. It might be different in some way. Right, so let's wait about from 15 the to other 20 sports minutes. you All have. Right, so let's get sat on your tray. Nice. Okay, so let's first start off with that gamoku fried rice. Nice. Okay. <laughs> that has a nice, savory, and inviting smell. Someone told me to stop hating on Steve. I don't hate Steve. I love this man. But I also hate him. Um, one, he fucking... It's just, it's just so counterintuitive to like, man, this tastes so foul. And then he eats another bite. Like, he's gonna die, man. And then he's collecting sports? Why? Race on its own. Looks like it has some... Shredded vegetables and pork. Mm. It has a really nice flavor to it. The flavors are really well blended, but it's predominantly onion with a savory pork. Eat right now, Keith. Hurry up. Strong of curry. I'm putting that mostly on the, the white rice. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. That looks good. I fuck with that. Whatever the fuck that is, I eat that shit. This has such a nice aromatic curry smell. This is more like in the realm of flavor of the first meal. Is it weird that... That is just prevalent with this ginger, onion, and... It's that cumin, and it's in this gravy that's somewhat rich and is just astounding. The texture balance with the white rice. I mean, the gamoku fried rice, it's not bad. I always thought curry was like the word for like great with it, but vagina the juice. The white rice with any sauce that's very flavorful is like the best thing in the world. 
Look at that little potato. Had a little bite to it. It wasn't a mushy potato. Like I didn't learn carrots, what curry was until I think I was in like pork. 12th. No, I think I was after high not school. Super lean. Like yeah, I was never sure. A good amount of fat to the left side. That just melts in your mouth. It's a very mild spice. It's not a spicy curry by any means. I had this Indian kid in middle school who convinced. He told me it was. He's like, flavorful. yeah, it's like the juice from a woman's vagina. Yeah, it's like and a, I believed him. I was like, yo, curry this gravy. guy knows curry. I love this. I that's what it is. Cumin in the curry, it's just. It's pretty strong of cumin, and even though it's not spicy, it's still very satisfying as a curry. Yeah, every one of these. I mean, even the hamburger, which was probably one of the less... His name is Kayvon. ...exciting menus. Still really good food. It's rash, and it's quick and easy to eat. You know, every time... That's the way it's supposed to be. What is that? A little bamboo shoot? A little bamboo shoot in the Gomoku fried rice. Three of those will do the trick for a day. Dude, he Filling ate like three. It doesn't bog you down. This one here is, again, very straightforward, no frills. When no field kitchens or anything else are available, this is what the Japanese ground self-defense force is eating, you know, if they're in combat. Well, anyway, this is Steve1989. I hope you liked the video, and I'll be coming back at you with something new. Or old. All right, cool. See ya. All right, I got one more video probably. Let me see what the fuck this is. Huge storms camping in the one Tigri Cosmetto tent failure and flooding adventure. I'm not watching this whole fucking thing. Cannot film any longer, so I'm going to put the camera up and just go through this storm. It's just simply too nasty. Spiders. I see it. Oh god, dude. No, I wouldn't. You couldn't cat. You can pay me to go out there. This guy's carrying a building on his back. Everyone, welcome to this episode of the Outdoor Gear Review. Do you ever have that feeling like oh god get away from me up. <laughs> me either me either <laughs> okay don't walk away you have to come back and get your camera. i really don't feel like i've messed up well kind of i do i trusted the weather and that's a huge mistake i'm in the fog in the wind the rain and i can tell a storm is coming there's no doubt about it a storm is coming At the lower elevations there where I got started, beautiful weather, sun's out, gorgeous. But as I've come up the mountain here, things have changed dramatically. And oftentimes, you can actually see changes in the weather coming by looking at the mountaintops, as they will be influenced before the lower elevations. I am very. I've been off trail for about an hour now. Like I know he set that camera up. And it is. Foggy, and then walked back. And then walked windy, back again. Like, wet, I, I, I and hate also it. beautiful. I guess it's an immersion thing. I just get mad. How long are you gonna fucking walk for, bro? How many shots do you need? Don't pretend like the camera's not there. I know you fucking try not to eyeball it. 
You're not an actor, bro. This isn't fucking theater. I'm mad. Oh, fuck off. Bro, come, hey, you know the camera's back here. The you easiest just... way for this is <laughs> under. Motherfucker, well, you went across, set up the camera. <laughs> Right now, it's not really all that cold, but it is damp. Super, super humid. Nah, bro. I will say, for this adventure, I have a ton of gear with me, and that's because I am testing out this backpack. I really wanted to pack it full so I could test it out. I wanted to see, I, I like the nice camera with the nature. This the pack nice. that I have here is the Tasmanian Tiger Pathfinder Mark II. It's a beast. <laughs> it's a beast. I mean, I'm really impressed with it so far. It's very comfortable. It can hold a ton of gear. It's right at the point of being military grade, in my opinion. It's not military grade, though. There is a difference. I'll talk about it in the review. I'm now on a trail, and this trail goes to an awesome campsite. What does military grade mean? Graded for the military. But what if like... Alright, whatever, I don't know. Went through military train... Or testing, okay. Dude, what, what the fuck? How many fucking shots do you need, man? Of you what? Like, you're literally, he's, most of his walk, he's tripling his distance. Whew. I have made it. Or we've made it. No, yep, you're right. We did it. Whew. I really feel like I've been outside today. Okay, so very interesting situation here as far as the conditions go. It is really, really windy Wait, on this side of the His ears are pinched. Y'all see that? Someone pinched well, him there. Luckily, like, I am protected tighten. here. I mean, it's loud up top, but right here, it's not bad at all. It's not raining, but water is falling from the trees because we're up here in the clouds, up here in the fog. So it is super, super wet. The sun keeps trying to pop out, but who knows if it will or not. Because it's so windy, because Wait, it's so what was that? Hang on. About, but who knows if it will or not. Because okay. it's so windy, because it's so wet, nice zoom, I am bro. going to set up a tarp right here. Right around here somewhere. Maybe from like this tree to that tree. Coming over this direction. Maybe. Actually. I'm thinking maybe this tree here. Hmm. There's not a real good way to set this up over the uh, fire pit. I might be able to though. I have quite a bit of cordage with me, so I might be able to pull this off. Tie it off to this tree, to that one, stake down the side, pull the roof out this way. Pull it out and tie here. That might work. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. I'm talking to myself here. I'm just thinking out loud. So this is what I'm thinking. I could tie off here, and then I could take a line all the way up to this tree here. I could stake out the tarp down at the bottom and then make a shelf this direction. With the tarp, that will give me some protection from the rain if it does rain. Yeah. That's the plan, everyone. And I might as well get to it. No, we, we're going to get to it. <laughs> it's 
So as you all can see, the tarp has been set up. I did somewhat of a shelf setup here. It's like a quarter shelf. There's a nice slope to the roof here. I have a little bit of protection on the back side, but not too much. I didn't want to set up a wall there that would just catch all of the wind coming over this hill. This sort of setup here will give me good wind protection and excellent rain protection. Rain is the biggest threat. I best not waste any time and go ahead and set up the tent. Otherwise, I might be sorry. The tent that I'm going with for this trip is the One Tigress Cosmeto two-person tent. This is a tent a lot of people have questions about. A lot of people are waiting for my review, so I'm doing as much testing as possible to get that done. Now, with One Tigress, this is a company that some people like. This is a company that some people do not like. I know there's been some drama with another YouTuber. I actually know him. We've talked about this. I think the point to make about that situation is that you do not go into bed. You don't go into business with these companies. As soon as products and money and whatever else exchange hands, it gets messy. That is Dude, one reason why drama. <laughs> I say agenda free. First off, I don't care about selling products. I let the products speak for themselves. And that's that. That's that. Based on what I know about that situation, everyone's at fault. <laughs> no one's innocent. A philosophy in my life is no drama, no bullshit. I'm not going to play those games with anyone or any company or anything like that. And because of that, I don't put myself in situations where there's going to be drama. Well, he, he just talked about the drama. Everyone else can do what they want to, but that's not how I go through life. But you just talked about it. Big drama. He gave his hot take. For this trip, everyone, I am using a half mat. In addition to the half mat, I'm testing out a new product from UGQ. It is a hybrid sleeping bag quilt, and it looks awesome. So far, it has been a productive day. I've hiked countless miles. I set up the tarp. I now have the tent set up. I'm ready for a cup of coffee and some lunch, but Everything inside of here tells me that I need to collect a little bit of firewood before I do anything else. I feel like it could start raining at any moment. So, yeah, that's what I will do. Oh, shit. This motherfucker, dude, this... I gotta make, I gotta really hurry up and get some firewood, cause who knows when it's gonna rain. This motherfucker gets the knife, picks, comes back, grabs the camera, sets it up here, steps over the stick, goes back, grabs the camera again, fucking puts the camera here, walks back, pretends to go over it again. I'm mad! There's no way! He has like 50 cameras? You're right. I'm so mad at the camera angles, dude. I'm sorry. People say your GoPros. No GoPros are this high quality. This is an HD, like, $1,000 camera with a $1,000 lens. Guaranteed. <laughs> it's the worst name of a product of all time. Sun dick. Sun dick. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Terrible name. Good table. Not the best quality in the entire world, but worth the money, in my opinion.
It is time for lunch, and it is also time for some coffee. I've pretty much accomplished everything that I wanted to, everything that I feel like I need to do. Tarp set up, tent set up. It's a burn time. Yeah. I'm running out of time. <laughs> I gotta go play Warcraft Three soon, no so I gotta clue. skip through. In a previous overnight adventure, I was talking about my uncle. He was diagnosed with cancer. I appreciate um, everybody's kind words. He lived about a week after I filmed that video. So they gave him a month. He lived about a week. Unfortunately, I didn't get to see him before he passed away. But the good thing is he didn't suffer. So that is the silver lining about the whole thing. It very easily could have been a completely different story. Well, now I'm depressed. Oh, I thought that was vodka. I was like, bro, pour one out. For lunch, what I have here is Hunter's Pie. These or as I can. Motherfucker. <laughs> it's good week. Yeah, it is what it is. It's uh, it's good. Not great. It's good. But cheers, everybody. Cheers. Thank you so much for joining me for this trip. But stunning here. It really is. The only real question mark about this trip Looks like is the weather. Is it going to rain? I have no idea. My senses tell me it's going to, but ultimately we shall see. In a way, I hope it does. Not only because I've done all this, but I really want to test out the One Tigress tent for waterproofness. I have heard from two viewers who have purchased this tent. One leaked and they got a refund. One didn't leak and they're very pleased. The individual who had leaking with this tent said that the issues stemmed from the vents. So we will test that out. Let's give this a try. What the, <laughs> what is the name of this? Bushka's Kitchen? This is not bad at all. I thought the peas would ruin it, but they're not. I don't care to hear about the pie, bro. Here we go. All right, folks. Well, first wave. It is flat out raining now. In fact, it's storming. I was standing out there watching some lightning, listening to the thunder. Yeah. It's time Looking at the Rob. one tigress tent, Damn water it. is just sheeting off. All right, I got a speed, speed, speed run. So it do it. It's All right. Okay. Thanks. So far, good job, one tigress. It looks like it. And I, and I have a couple of these in a thought state called like the wall right now because I'm going towards like this. <laughs> one day, it's open, it should be. And that cook, go ahead. Come on, internet. Please. Keep up with it me. It's delicious. Nice. Storm. Out in a minute. Check on that. Didn't it say massive tent fail? Hello? Did the tent Tent leak? failure and flooding yes, adventure. There is one drip. It did not come from the vent. It came from the top of the tent somewhere, landed on the mesh, and then rolled off. The inside of the tent, as far as I can tell, is dry. Dinner is done, everyone, and... The tent is not tent dry. Tent. I can't believe it. I'm probably joking that I don't wake up listen to the Time for ventilating. So it's not a lot, but it is leaking. 
it is not leaking on this side. It's there. So buy this tent. It would be my advice to seam seal the vents. There's some sort of issue there. I would seam seal. Alright, I can't. I gotta go. Alright, let me go yell at Rob and call him a fucking bitch. Hang on. I thought he was gonna, like, die out there. Like, it was, like, suck fucking, like, a survivor adventure. But he's just like, alright, let's go in a tank. Oh, we got a couple of graphics of water.